Residents of the quiet Placenza community became vocal this week when they came public on Wednesday with concerns over two major incidents of crime that occurred in that community over the past month, for which no arrests have been made to date. The first incident happened about a month ago when an elderly citizen, 63-year-old Roy Wade, was beaten to death, allegedly by a group of boys. The second incident happened early last Thursday morning when 24-year-old Lisette Kokom was attacked, allegedly by her estranged common-law husband, who stabbed her multiple times about the neck, back and hands. She had to be rushed to the Southern Regional Hospital for treatment and the following day she made a formal complaint to the Placencia Police Formation. The suspect, however, has not been sought and residents say that he continues to travel between Placencia and Independence Village. The two incidents come on the heels of a memorandum of understanding signed soon after the officer commanding the Placencia Police Formation, Inspector Mark Flowers, went on vacation leave. That MOU, signed by Minister of National Security John Saldiver and representatives of the Placencia Chapter of the Belize Tourism Industry Association and the Village Council, called for increased and enhanced policing in Placencia, which has developed to become arguably the most attractive tourist destination in Belize. Love News visited Placencia on Wednesday and spoke with Janice Leslie, a Justice of the Peace, who hired Lisette Kokom. Leslie said that she is outraged that the police have done nothing to stem the problem so far. I went to pick her up and she came back and we stopped at the police station and we gave, she gave an account of what happened. She reported it and she signed the statement and everything. They, they didn't do anything. When I went there Friday, they were having a barbecue behind the police station and all the policemen were in the, in the police station eating. They had to take us to the... Um, tourist police office behind in office behind and I'm there watching this thing and I can't believe it. I mean nobody is interested, nobody cares. Kevin Madeira, who lived where the stabbing of Lisette Kakom occurred, saw the incident unfold before his eyes. He screamed out and then she started to holler help. So we get up and my girl, Tanisha run to the kitchen and grabbed two knife. And I take the knife and I open the door and I walk outside and I see him I look down for him and she called the name and I said man what happened to you crazy that you try to kill that girl but I at the time I think the punch okay. and her head was there was a flower tree right by the step with some big rocks around it so I've right after him get up and she said like this I want to kill her I said you crazy what happened to you it was obvious after afterwards I, what I thought was punching was stabbing because it was coming down like this when he walk off at 2 o'clock, I get up. She said, no, I can't get up. I said, knock your head because the big rocks are right there around the flowers. And she said, no, he, he stabbed me. And then he said, what? But then he had this hood over and everything. But I recognize the voice and he looked right up and I see his face. He said, I want to kill him. He looked right in my eyes and I said, man, you get out of this yard. Like Leslie, Madeira too has expressed dissatisfaction at the police response or lack thereof. And along with them is the officer commanding Placencia, Inspector Mark Flowers, who was away on vacation leave. Flowers returned to work this week, and he told Love News that he too is embarrassed and disappointed in the way the officers have treated the two incidents in his absence. Only yesterday I, I learned the magnitude of uh, the incidents that have been uh, occurring during my absence and I am uh, deeply troubled by the inaction. I have since yesterday directed that further statement um, be recorded in the, in the case of the, the uh, death of the elderly gentleman. And no statements were ever taken? Yeah, statements were in fact taken. They, they, I have the file. But right no here. arrest? No arrest. And I have gone through this file. I, I know that the police administration, the commissioner, is not at all and wouldn't be pleased. And I am not pleased with the, 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 the speed with which this investigation has gone. As soon as I got here yesterday, I had witnesses picked up and and statements recorded. This file is being prepared 
to be sent to the office of the DPP no later than tomorrow, Thursday. As it relates to the uh, young lady that was stabbed, I, I learned of this incident yesterday myself, and I have since directed the, 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 the police, and uh, in fact, as we speak, the police are out at sea and looking for, looking for the, 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 the suspect. The inactions of the police is something that will be, has to be, looked at. I, I, don't, I don't believe in that kind of policing. I, I, I don't know that, that any part of the world that kind of policing work, uh, let alone here in Placentes. Love News has learned that the files are being forwarded today to the Director of Public Prosecutions to give directives as far as charges are concerned with regard to the suspects in the two incidents. Reporting for Love News, I'm Marion Ali.